Uncle Ron and stuff. I uh, went to my Aunt Betty's uh, funeral. And my Uncle Glenn was alive at the time. And uh, not in good health, but he was there. And I sat down to him and I was talking a little bit. And I said to him, Anybody ever talk to you about aging? He said, no. Uh, I'm sure there's books. I'm sure there's, uh, if you look at Harvard Medical or something, you'll find uh, some, you know, the generalities of aging and what happens to your body and so on and so on. But I thought that uh, I'd give a personal reflection upon it and share and um, I don't know some stuff you may know some stuff you may not know um, some stuff you probably don't want to know but nonetheless aging I start off with the uh, brain uh, that's about the only thing I ever really had I haven't had great handsome look or anything I haven't had, I am six foot tall, but I've never been, you know, muscle man or anything like that. And I haven't had a silver tongue to convince people, i.e. women, to do anything I wanted, you know, so the brain was it. So that's probably my most important organ, and that's why I started on the first. And aging. Uh, believe it or not, once upon a time, I did not make mistakes. Um, I'm talking like, you know, calculating stuff in my head. Now, I used to have a nightmare, it would be a nightmare, nightmare where I'd have like uh, five digit numbers and 20 rows of five digit, digit numbers. And I was supposed to add it up in my head. And I could make the first row and maybe halfway through the second row before I'd forget what the carry was and what the sum was for the first row plus the sum, you know. The, and I'd have to do it over and over and over again, sort of like the guy pushing the boulder up the hill forever. He almost gets it to the top and then rolls back down. So I used to have a nightmare like that. And no, I never was able to add up 20 rows of five-digit numbers in my head. But in general, I did not make mistakes. I, um, when I was speaking, and I... The point is, they do make mistakes now. I was making a video the other day about my washing machine and the model number, and it was uh, supposed to be a uh, MW5000 HVA, and at various times I said MA or WAM. I make mistakes like that. So part of the aging thing is I have learned I have to double and triple check myself and believe it or not, even past triple check, I still find I screw up stuff. And it's just concerning. I don't like it. Um, we have a trash pickup every two weeks, and I have a sheet that says what day is supposed to be put out. <clears throat> and I put it on a big whiteboard so I can easily read it. And uh, this in September, I've screwed the numbers up three times. I don't know. Why I, I it befuddles me when I go, wait man, that's not right. I already checked it twice. How could I screw it up a third time? But I did. And what I found on that issue is that you have to focus on what you're doing totally only. I used to be able to multitask. Uh, I had, and I can still at some level, like three projects going in my head at the same time where one of them is longer out in time and I, I know I have to do a couple steps and I'm thinking about it while I'm doing this project or that project but it is now important that wherever I am and whatever I'm doing that I focus entirely on that uh, especially driving I'm pretty good on that I've always been really concentrated when I drive about driving Driving is driving. Although there was a time one time when I was driving somewhere, I'd come back from someplace. I don't know if it was early morning, late at night, it doesn't make any difference. All of a sudden, I woke up. I looked around. I didn't know where I was. Well, not good.
Anyway, the brain thing is uh, you start making mistakes if you didn't already or you make more and you have to double and triple check yourself and um, even that may not be enough especially when you're driving you got to look both ways four three four times you may be expecting a, um, a silver car when it turns out to be black or blue or some other color and you don't see it there are other stuff um, I have tenderness in my ears it's gotten worse so hearing hearing goes I'm uh, 77. My hearing is crap, but I never did a lot of protection for it. So you should wear ear protectors. It'll help. I uh, have for extended periods of time used ear protectors when I'm running power equipment outside and so on. But the ears take a beating. I don't know. Maybe the diaphragm gets thick. I mean, you know, biological stuff happens as well. <coughs> um, the eyes, I have a cataract in my right eye now, it'll probably have to be replaced. Um, for a long time, my glasses prescription, I bet for 10 years, it didn't change for 10 years. I used to be able to go on the same set of glasses for, I don't know, 5, 10 years at least. Now it's every 3, 4, 2 years. Um, this right eye, even though I got new prescriptions, it's already out. And it's because of the cataract. But the hearing and the eyes and the brain thing, uh, specifically. Um, aging. Uh, erectile dysfunction for males. And, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, uh, uh, I, I don't have procreation on the mind all the time or a variation of the concept of procreation. Um, I don't have that. It's not a driving force. If it ever, I never saw it as a particular procreation driving force, but I had strong desire for sex. Now that has dissipated, and I moan that it's dissipated, but I'm also glad it's dissipated. It gives me much more freedom to talk with women and not have what I feel is a aura of sexuality, sex, sex. Uh, it gives, makes me more comfortable doing that. At the same time, you know, they talk about uh, women and breast cancer and having to remove a breast and how it somehow diminishes the feminality or feminism of a woman. Well, uh, to me, it's not been a major issue, but I don't like it, not erectile dysfunction. Um, Willie Nelson said he'd outlived his dick. Uh, it's, uh, I had a friend, his dad was in his 70s or something. He called one day and said, does, um, does um, that uh, erectile dysfunction medicine work? And a friend said, yeah. So... It's interesting, I was in talking to the GP one time, and I said something about, well, my heart's okay, right? Yeah, okay. Well, could I use some... She says, yeah, I'll prescribe it right away. Is you... <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I just was curious. Uh, but she was more than willing. I was found it strange to me that uh, prescribing... Um, and I can't even remember the name of the drug. You know what I'm talking about. There's more than one. <clears throat> to help with erectile dysfunction for men. Um, um, part of that is the psycho drugs that I take. I take uh, Zoloft for depression, and they say it has limited sexual side effects, but I found that's not true for me. Uh, aging. Um, my mouth has gotten looser. I pretty much say what I want to say. I never did really care much about what other people thought about me, you know, I wasn't like wherever I went I knew they were watching me and, you know, what they thought of me and whatever, so um, what little bit I did have is dissipated with age, so now I can pretty much say what I want to say and I can get myself into trouble. I put the foot in my mouth. I don't think that's an uncommon issue with people aging, maybe men only, I don't know. Uh, but 
that is an aspect that has happened. Uh, muscle aches and pains for sure. I can overwork uh, my calf muscles. Uh, I have lost weight in the last, uh, when I turned 75, I began to lose weight. Uh, there's no medical reason for it. I became lactose intolerant, which is a weird one. I used to be able to eat shrimp, but I went around 50 years old. I had an allergy, a severe, rashy, itchy allergy to shrimp. I never had that allergy before. Giving up shrimp was not a big deal, okay, you know, so I just avoided it. Uh, lactose, it took me forever to figure out that was what was causing my problem, which was mainly diarrhea. It took me forever to figure that out. Giving up dairy, not a big deal. Uh, I like my stomach settled and not queasy and not having, uh, there's a term for it when you bowel, irritable bowel syndrome. I don't like, I didn't want that, I don't need that, and uh, lactose caused that. So, sensitivities to various foods, uh, I had some um, broccoli, I think it was not long ago, and it didn't set well. So, that changes what you might be, it was okay, but not okay anymore. My uh, daughter is now in her 50s. She developed an allergy to strawberries and peanuts. That wasn't the case earlier, okay? But that can happen. Um, aging. Um, my balance is not what it was, but I don't think it's severe. I don't thaw too often. It's usually my fault. Uh, I should have picked that thing up out of the way, and I didn't, and then I tripled it. So. Uh, partly, I got a sneeze. Oh, I got a yawn. <laughs> anyway, I've also, uh, uh, there are days, and it's more mental than it's physical, that I'll take a nap. I never ever took a nap. That's not true when I was younger. I sometimes would go to sleep on the sofa, the couch, watching the football game, and it was a good sleep. You kind of relaxed and you lift it off. But now I can go take a shower and call in bed at 2, 3, 4 o'clock and lay down for an hour or two hours. And I don't know if I go into deep sleep, but I get some kind of rest. And I even cover up my head. It's like I've had too much. It's a mental thing. And I've talked, I have a psychiatrist I talk with. And I, yeah, he's okay with it. If he's okay with it, I'm okay with it. I don't think it's any kind of depressive issue. It's just escape for a little while. And um, as you get older, you ought to allow yourself those sorts of things. Things that might have, um, uh, if you were younger, you know, you were told, oh, that's not a good thing to be doing. Well, maybe, you know, I'm not saying cut yourself. I'm not, doing, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you should give yourself a little bit of leeway. And uh, mentally, at least, anyway, you're not what you were. I don't know how much my brain has shrunk. I don't do alcohol. I never did much alcohol. I did some other drugs, but not. I don't regularly consume alcohol. They say that kills umpteen thousand brain cells. Well, maybe I've held on to that, but I can tell you that my mental acuity is not what it was. It's still good. I, I surprising to me, I can still face a new problem and figure out some way to do it, and. From that perspective, I'm not saying anymore about five, ten years ago, I was saying that aging has only improved my mental acuity, being able to process and understand and all that. All the skills that I'd acquired earlier in life would meta into each other, and uh, it helped a lot. I wasn't, I was still climbing, I was still learning, I was still integrating. But I can't say that's true anymore. I don't feel it like I did. So the uh, mental acuity thing is not what it was. The balance is not. I still do ladders, but I focus heavy. I am up a ladder. Do not lose sight of where you are. Don't step off the ladder. Um, focus. Uh, that's probably the main thing I want to focus on is it comes a time when 
you used to be able to think about something else while you were brushing your teeth or doing this sort of mundane activity. Uh, that slips away. And yes, I can brush my teeth and think about something. Uh, but then if I, you know, okay, I'm done brushing my teeth, I'll take it out and I'll leave the toothpaste running electric and just shoot stuff everywhere. Or uh, if I'm thinking heavily about some project, I'll pick up the wrong cap and try to put it on the toothpaste tube. Mistakes. I don't have, I used to have what I, it was like a, in a computer science, you can have cache memory. Uh, the next steps in that process are right there available for you. And I don't have, the cache memory is shrinking. So I'm brushing my teeth and I'm thinking about uh, how to change spark plugs in the car. And I'm still thinking when I put it down and then I go to pick up a cap and I pick up the wrong one. I remembered the cap step, but not which cap. The cache memory has gotten degraded. So, and maybe it is personal to me. I don't know. I'm just warning you. It could happen to you. Uh, I have heard about, you know, elderly people who forget all kinds of stuff. Um, forget things. Uh, yeah, I can. I do forget things. Uh, have you ever walked in a room and I know why I was there? No, not really, but I can walk in the room and go, what did I come in here for? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, or I'm up here, I'm going downstairs, what am I going to take down with me and I'll forget something. Yeah, that's that's a common, common issue. Um, muscle mass, I don't do exercise for exercise safe itself, so I have lost muscle mass. Uh, particularly ir irksome is the, the uh, large uh, muscles in my legs. Uh, one time when I was uh, 20, 30, 40, I had massive uh, 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 upper thigh muscles. I forget what they're called. I forget. I often say it now. I have already forgotten more than I currently know. And that's true. Who remembers all the trigonometric functions and, and uh, calculus, uh, derivatives of cosines and all that sort of stuff? Uh, that was 50 years ago and I've used it so little since. It's not surprising to me that, I, that I've lost it. There's all kinds of stuff like that that I've lost that I don't remember. Uh, it's interesting, the kids will get together and they'll talk about something or other. And they say, remember that? And I go, no. I don't remember that, and I don't know why I don't remember it. Uh, uh, it's sad in a way that I can't remember some sort of family-oriented, you know, it was an activity we did or something, and I was certainly there and I was involved. I don't know why I don't have a memory of it. Um, I did talk to the doctor one time. I did a, I was doing a brake job. I decided that uh, one of the cars needed the front brakes done. So I bought all the things, and I, you know, really I took the wheel off, and I look in there and go, well, I've been here before. Somebody's been in here before, and the only somebody who's ever worked on the car is me. Somebody's been in here, so it's like I'm puzzled because I had no memory of doing it. And I went a little farther, and the brake pads were fine. I had obviously replaced them, and somehow totally forgot that I had done it. So I talked to GP about it, saying, I don't understand. How could I completely forget that I had done this? And I don't know, maybe it had been six months ago. I don't know how long ago. But I had no memory of it at all. And that was disconcerting. Now, I don't know of a similar uh, thing that's happened since then. Uh, that one was big enough to shock me. That I have no memory at all. And uh, the family thing family events. I have lots of family uh, memories, uh, even of my parents and so on, but I'm sure I don't, I must have a tenth of what actually happened and I may have had memory of at one time. Um, mainly the brain, but other things. Um, uh, my feet can hurt. Never did. I have flat feet, but um, um, age, relationships. Um, I get tired of having myself around. 
uh, and I do feel trapped in this physicality. Um, I don't know. I think I have, from time to time, gotten outside of this. And I felt it, and uh, I like it there. And so I'm somewhat, I realize I'm somewhat trapped in this physicality, into this physical form and into this, this uh, current state of uh, being. Uh, I don't, I'm not anywhere near close to saying, oh, I'm done. In fact, I was talking to somebody recently about that, that, you know, after a while, I think you can get so tired of living that you said enough is enough, you know. Uh, no, I have not felt that. I have felt that I'm really, really tired, you know, uh, but not to the point of saying, well, I'm done. I don't know if that will ever come to you. Well, I'm really done. I can certainly understand if you're in constant pain and, you know, dependent on others and blah, 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 blah. And that's a nightmare for me if I had to be dependent on others. I've been relatively independent my whole life, been able to do most everything I wanted to do by myself or without a lot of help. Well, I'm not having children, but, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. This has gone on too long. There's a lot of aging. You know, the skin, um, I can't show you, but uh, it doesn't take much to bruise, and I'll get these red splotches. Let's see, I can't do it. Yeah, there's one. There's a, a red splotch down here. There's some other, uh, there's a good one right there. And that one, that's like a bruise, but it's not, and the skin's gotten thick. There was an old gentleman who lived up the street from me, and he came down one time, and he was always saying, Oh, I'm failing fast now, Ron. I'm failing fast. <clears throat> and he would point to his skin. It's like, it doesn't take much at all to cause this. I don't get bruises, per se, but I can get these, especially on my arms, these red blotches. They don't last too long. I think it's bleeding under the skin. Uh, blood pressure. Uh, drugs, blood pressure, that kind of stuff. You ought to see a GP regular. Uh, I have for 40 years. I've been on cholesterol medicine for 40 years. Um, everybody, males in my family, both sides, heart problems. But then they didn't know anything about cholesterol. They didn't eat healthy. They didn't take any kind of medication for it. Anyway, I have enjoyed the modern chemistry of cholesterol management, blood pressure management, um, sugar diabetes management. That's also in my family. Uh, but I've been treated and I see a GP regularly and blood are tested regularly. And if you don't do that, you should. You really need a doctor. You know, everybody says, well, call my lawyer. I don't have a regular lawyer, you know, I, I didn't, I never, now and then I've needed a lawyer for sure, but not to the point of having one on call or retainer or anything like that, but a GP, yes, and a psychiatrist, yes, uh, apparently I need both, and I have both, and I see or talk to both regularly, and they run the tests, um, jet engines in the aircraft, in the Air Force, they pull some oil out and they run through a test to see if there's any metal in it. And that's a good, you know, sort of a quick and easy blood test on the health of the engine. And so they can do that for your body. Um, blah, 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 blah. Blood pressure used to be 130, 140, over 80 pretty regularly. And now in the last two or three years, 60, 120 over 60 seems to be the norm. Uh, I'm not really concerned about it. I don't get dizzy or lightheaded, which I have had. I tried to do the 81 milligram regimen for my heart, and all it did was make me, combined with my blood pressure medicine, made me dizzy and lightheaded in the evening. No one knows your body like you know it. So you've got to, uh, when you take drugs and so on, you got to be aware there can be some side effects. And there wasn't any side effects last week, but there are today. So <clears throat> pay attention to what your body is telling you. And 
Uh, I think it's fair to do mild experiments on yourself. I have a blood pressure cuff, and uh, when I was trying to sort out, you know, dizziness and lightheadedness, I did talk to the GP about it. She suggested that I cut this in half, and I tried that, and I monitored my blood pressure. I mean, you're not with the GP every day, so I did monitor a lot, and the same way you check your diabetes or blood sugar level. There is a responsibility you have to your body and to your mind and well-being. They say the mind, you're supposed to engage it and keep it engaged to keep it uh, sharp. I don't have a, I don't play chess. I don't have a regular thing like that. I just take on projects all the time involving something or other and like installing Windows 11 on a computer that doesn't want to take Windows 11. And I have to sort through that sort of problem. I've still got that ability, oh, it's not what it was. I used to be a science fair judge for years and years. But then one time I went and I realized I just don't have it anymore. I don't have enough up here about every aspect of physics and biology and chemistry and metallurgy and all that stuff. I did know something about, enough about that I could comment and critique uh, uh, correctly to students on their projects but I realized no I didn't have it anymore and that's a hard one to accept but and you'll eventually have to accept that there's some things you just can't do anymore I don't get on roofs anymore I used to do roof repairs and all kind of stuff but I'm not going to do it I'm not going to climb the 30 foot ladder and crawl up on the roof that's 50 feet above ground and do stuff I'm just not uh, I don't feel bad about it. Yeah, okay, I'll crack up when up to aging. You know, some things easy stuff like giving up lactose. That's an easy give for aging. You know, I, so what? I don't need ice cream that bad. You know, but other stuff. This has gone too long. This is just a personal aging thing. I don't know. It depends on your age. Stuff happens in your 40s. I always thought I aged in 20 year trend. Oh, I even forgot about the teeth. The teeth get horrible, it's genetics in my family, whole top broke out, the bottom's all bad, and teeth are really expensive. Uh, brush your teeth, take care of your teeth. Uh, do whatever you gotta do, take care of your teeth. Uh, George Washington had wooden teeth. I don't think he ever had wooden teeth, but that's what they said he did. It, you know, it, it, I know very few people who haven't had teeth issues as they get aged. So keep that in mind, and I could go on a yammer, yammer, but enough is enough. This is Uncle Ron's stuff. Today's the 15th, and I've been working outside, but I'm kind of sick of it. So I decided to do another one of these. Uh, take it for whatever it is. Just have a regular GP, get a regular blood test done. Take responsibility for your own self. Have a blood pressure monitor, have a uh, blood sugar sugar. Uh, uh, testing device uh, those kind of things specifically for you take care of your teeth uh, protect your ears blah 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 Uncle Ron stuff and I'm done for the day see you next time